Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Randy Jones with Incredible Tiny Homes. There's DJ. Hey, you going in there, and I'll be in there just a minute, bud. I want to introduce you guys to our solar, which is right here. This is a solar off-grid video, and I'm going to show you our kind of our our laboratory. But it's we built this. Okay, you can see this. All right, so it's really high up off the ground, and underneath is where we bend all the metal. You can see the forklifts going through here. It is one crowded place. But we built this up there. This is the office that I did the Q&A in last week. And then this right here is where all of our board panels and everything's put together. I'm gonna put it on a tripod later in this video. And we're gonna talk to Lucas and what's all involved and who's in charge and how we're trying to get a protocol together and a, um, a manual together for everybody and get this off grid. Because it, it is a big seller for us. All right, so let's go in and meet you guys and let Lucas kind of explain to you what's going on. I love this room. You can see the glass inside. We can still see outside here. We got DJ and we got Lucas with us. And I wanted, uh, tell me what's going on here, buddy. What do we got? Okay, so this is the new off-grid department supervisor. Right. So DJ will be taking care of all your support tickets, uh, any questions, uh, knowledge base. Um, also got this now for the off-grid system to supplement the handbook that's laying right there that comes with your system. Yeah. And uh, that way it helps people understand how we've integrated that into the whole house. Okay. And then um, you can reach out to DJ at support at incrediblytinyhomes.com starting effectively tomorrow morning. Support at incrediblytinyhomes.com. Support at incrediblytinyhomes.com for your off-grid and solar or just solar? Uh, for any off-grid stuff. Any yeah. off-grid questions From you may have. compost toilet to off-grid power, you name Water, it. compost, you name it. The you amenities it. will come right Perfect. here. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. So explain to us this room. What's going on here, buddy? Okay, so this is a clean room. Uh, the floor uh, is tracked up today because we're building another office. But this is a uh, poured... Uh, oh my gosh, Randy. Epoxy. Epoxy floor. I keep yep. forgetting that. This is epoxy with like three, four layers now deep. And the reason we've done that is because when the guys are building these boards, the screws are so tiny in some of the parts in here. If it falls on the floor, you can easily find it. Plus, you can easily clean up each day. Yeah, so you got your Milwaukee stool. Yes, Milwaukee Mr. stool. Mr. Milwaukee Red. And, uh, shout out to Doug. Ha <laughs> To go up there. Look at that. So the guys, look, and we got the Milwaukee on the table. Oh, here. man, you do. Yeah, so Michael, our sales rep. I say you're just a little partial, aren't you, buddy? Oh, uh, we got some love for him. And so, uh, yeah, uh, Billy even talked about painting the fridge red. Yeah. And putting Milwaukee on there, too, to keep the theme right. So, Gosh. Uh, long and short of it. Yeah, what uh, happens in here? So, DJ will have uh, his office desk right there. We're still getting him moved in, and that's where he'll be able to take all the calls okay. and stuff. Yep, DJ, there was a computer. And then Ashley's workstation is here, and, um, you know, she's turned into one of the best female electricians I've ever seen. So. And we do have diversity because we got females here. We got actually... A female carpenter and a female solar yeah. operator. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. We we, uh, we uh, we've got people of all different backgrounds and walks of life here. Yeah, that's absolutely. right. And so this is some of her craftsmanship. Nice, clean runs. I mean, really nice. I'm proud of her. And you've trained these every. I mean, I'm talking. You've trained from these grommets to these wires. Everything placed on there. Programming. Here, the programming it. Now, yeah. And we're going to show them later on how we program, how we put this together, what's all involved. We'll do another video on all that. Yeah. Up here, what do we got going, bud? Okay, so they still got to wipe this down a little bit because uh, they're finishing the last bit You're of fine. in here. But um, this is the stations where they're going to be able to set and work. Uh, you got your impact drill, your uh, drill with a pyramid drill bit, and that's for drilling this out a little more so the MC uh, connectors can go in. Uh, they're going to have their... Um, uh, screwdrivers and specialty screwdrivers, things like that there. Uh, fasteners, connectors, the MC4 connectors and all that stuff, wire nuts, you name it. And then we've got these rubber mats to go down. So when they take a board, they lay it here. You've got your disconnects, your inverter, your breakers, everything you need. You never have to leave your workstation. Nice. And Ashley built, gosh, what did she build the other day, DJ? Three of them almost in one day. And that was just working on a rough spot, table stuff scattered everywhere. That's awesome. They'll be able to produce a whole day's orders right here in a day. Right, because we can put three to five through the line. Yeah. And if they can build that many, we can stay ahead. Gotcha. Yep. So as long as it's, they produce two and a half a piece minimum, you've produced a whole day's work right here for the next day. Nice. And uh, all their wires here available. 
These backer boards are custom stamped out for the company. Yep. Uh, that's something that's a signature of this company too is because everything's electrically grounded and then it's all bonded together on that board. So it really gives that EMP the full benefit because all system components are grounded together and then it's grounded to that EMP. Does it mean anything that the houses are metal too? Like that's being fastened to the metal uh, of the walls? Yeah, I don't know. Does I that mean, help ground it? Well, see, what we do is we take the ground and we bond all the way through from the frame all the way back through to the feed that comes in that ground from, from your plug. Yeah. So literally if a person set an additional ground rod and grounded the frame, they have a continuity all the way from the ground there all the way back through the system to their service panel plus the ground rod exactly, back. Exactly, yeah. And that way you've actually got two Man. ground rods. So it's just, I think it's, it's the best and safest thing to protect your stuff in case of uh, electrical surge because I mean we've seen that with that guy in Florida. Somebody was driving that oh, tractor yeah. trailer, hit that, it fried their house with these, uh, even if you don't get off grid, if you just got the AC EMP block on your house, that would have helped arrest that surge. Can you so. see what Billy wants? He's just watching <coughs> us. I don't know what he wants to do there. But um, yeah, I mean, I think the more the more you can ground something out, the better, especially with the, uh, the EMP blocks that we offer. Okay, good. So this is a two-stage system, everything they need to build these to build these panels right here, right? Correct. Okay. This is what this room this is what this room produces each day. Now you said something on this wall, we're gonna put something on here. Yes, yeah, so uh, so the DJs guys are going to have a uh, pretty much like a CAD drawing table almost looking thing mounted right here for yep. this when they're done producing. So that. they'll take this hook it right here put it there they can hook the pv coming in they can hook the plug right here to an outlet they can hook the output to a shelf that's being built here and it can have we'll have like a microwave there we're actually can move that microwave to here um, so the guys can actually cook their lunch while they're testing their equipment um, okay so there you go free power and yeah. then light bulbs and all sorts of stuff and we'll just check to make sure that the ac's working the dc's working and everything and now dc you're going to have panels on the outside of the building here uh, you said, two right? Of them where we were, we were going to put two on the ground. Okay. And, and that way we could easily clean them and right, keep them right. maintenance. And that way the guys have a, 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 a test copy of what we already put on the customer's house. Got it. Yeah. And then you've got a program, and I don't know anything about this, and I know we'll talk more about it, but you got to set this up to a laptop and program this thing for a certain load or something. So uh, what we do now, and you want to tell them about that, how we're doing yeah, that? Yeah, DJ. Firmware, DJ? Get some work. Yeah, do something or go to work, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I just know the settings. Right. The firmware. I just know how to go through the, fir the firmware and set it to where it don't. Okay. What's a firmware? The software. Software? Oh, yeah. okay. What it tells the batteries to do. The inverter talks to the batteries and tells them. So you got to go online and tell. You got to you gotta do something to this battery? Yeah. What do you mean? You just can't plug it up and it's like ready to make coffee? Yeah, you can, but it works better when you program it into the inverter. It's, it makes it smarter. And really? It keeps it living longer and helps you conserve, conserve energy and just helps all in general. Really? So you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to marry these two together. Yeah, because somehow it, this battery it'll talk to itself, but this one's like the dad and tells the son okay how to guide him through. It. Well, and you have to do that on some sort of app or software or something you've got, or? No, you just do it straight through it. Just hit set. Right. You can go through and program it. I think it's one through 36. And you wow. And you can set it up for different battery types. Oh, okay. What you want to push out, take in, and so on and so forth. So it depends on what kind of load they're going to be using on there, how many appliances they can use and stuff, Generator right? Generator coming into it or utility power. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's right. something something that a lot of people I don't think have a, a full grasp on with yeah. um, with these type batteries is this is your voltage at the top end of your battery. This is when you're at the bottom end of a lithium battery. All your power is in the top tier of your battery. 
and as opposed to that battery beside DJ that we, we people ask, and I think people have forgotten, we still put in pure lead carbon batteries for people if they want. I wanted to let, let everybody yeah. know that. We will do lead carbon batteries. The yeah. cost is higher, but folks, what you see before you is exactly what I my farm depends on whenever the power goes out. This yeah. is exactly you like I, You personally oh, like lead it. carbon. You know, if I took uh, and tried to burn this building down right now, this is in a flame retardant case. Okay. I've actually went out and he's seen it too because DJ's worked in the field with me yeah. now for quite some time. This is yeah. not just a new rodeo in here for him too. Yeah. Is we've actually replaced these where that the post had burnt out. Literally the, the core in this and the plates had, had been overheated and it had melted out this casing. Wow. But the battery didn't burn up. So that uh, when people look at this, this is this is a really well put together battery. Okay. You can actually abuse this in the last seven years. You can get potentially 15 years out of something like this. Really? The thing is, you can take this down to 20% and come back. Right. And that's what DJ programs this to cut out now, too. I because guess. another thing is, I'll talk about sleep mode in this in a minute. Okay. But the difference with this, for those that want to go tiny, this is a ton of weight. Like, you can get arm day in with this. This is 160 pounds. I had to bear hug one over a battery bank and put one back in. Like, this weighs almost as much as I weigh. So... And how many batteries does it take to be equivalent to that much energy in that lithium? Okay, that's an excellent question, sir. So, four of these. Four of those. Uh, it will equal out about 8 kW. Eight? 8? 8 kW. Uh, and this is essentially 5 kW. Okay. So, you're, you're not double, but you're not, you're, you're just, you're, so you, you're past. So, you need three of those would be five, close to five? Uh, yeah, but the thing is, you need at least four to equal out either a 24-volt bank or four together for a 48-volt bank. You can't okay. do 36. So, that's why you end up buying four batteries or two. I'll be. And so, the thing is, is these batteries cost a lot more. Um, but in the long run, the difference is, is that if you are worried about your battery management system failing, it, it's something nobody can get around. Tesla can't even get around it. You have to have a management system in a lithium battery. What does that mean, a management system? So if we take the case off this, and by the way, we are an authorized repair dealer too. For we are, and we, we had to go, we had to get certified to do that. Yeah, and the thing is, is that... Um, what happens is if you take this case off right now, and I'm sorry, I should have went ahead and took we're, it off. We're going to do that. We'll okay. do another video. Yep. In the inside of this, you have your power cell, you have a, a firewall divider, you have your battery management system pack, you have your breaker, your wires, and then the wiring uh, harness that runs to your sails. Right. The thing is, is if somebody drags this down to bottom, then... What do you mean drags it to the bottom? Like if you Depletes go... Depletes it of energy? Yeah, if you okay. go beyond that 20 percentile, this yeah. thing will go into pretty much sleep mode. All right. <clears throat> There's a couple ways to bring it back. One of them, the quickest <clears throat> way, and I've done this here on the floor, is to take a smart charger, hook to it, let a four amp trickle charge. What's a smart charger? <clears throat> a smart charger is like something you get for your battery. Uh, for it your plugs car. into the AC. It, it plugs into AC, and you okay. just clip on. And like in the winter time, it'll maintain your batteries and bring. Like how you charge a car battery up, slow trickle charge. Or something? Right. Exactly. Okay. And that will help wake the management system up, and then it slowly equalizes the sales. Now, that can be a two- or three-day process Wow! charge up. This here, you can take completely to empty. Kill it. Kill it. F fire the 50-amp generator back up and just melt her down. I mean, there's there these these things. That, I, I'm telling you what, like you can throw the this. charge to it. This battery, this wow. battery right here. The reason I held onto this, mm. one, look right here. The trucking company dropped that. I now, mean, this is a battery that was warranty. Bump that TH. sucker. This thing will still work right now. Ah, oh. that's how much abuse these batteries can take. So, um, I mean, they're just the chemistry on these is amazing, and this is the closest thing to lithium you'll ever get. Right here, this is it. Um, Pure lead carbon battery. But the trade-offs is the lifespan and the weight. But with this, it takes a while, even though you have all that stored energy, it's just like you'd run your drill battery dead. Yeah. You can't just slam it right back nope. on the charge. And a lot of people that want to go off grid, I encourage you to really be careful about your usage. Yes. Because you don't want to just drive it, drive it, drive it, and then try to recharge it. It right. don't work like that. If you want to do that kind of lifestyle, this is what you need to get. Okay, so in, to, to reiterate what you're saying, these are, this got the storage, it's great, it's lightweight, it can do the job, but if you're going to drain it to the bottom, you're going to take a long time getting her back up to where she needs to be. Right. If you drain that one, we can just... 
fill it full of charge and it'll come back and you can kill it, go back, kill it, go back. But He's the lifespan on that. Uh, or I'm sorry, I think there's 7,000 cycles in this. I got okay. I got a double check on that. That's the only thing. Don't nobody hold me to. Right. I'll give you, we can give you exact specs on this now. Yeah. Um, but the, the warranty on this, depending on the manufacturer that uh, the vendor that supplies the company gets it for us, it can be five to six years. I mean, you will get your life out of it even okay. within the warranty. Yeah. Unlike you go to the Jeep dealer and my windshield cracked like 30,000 miles in, they wouldn't replace it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. You actually get it repaired. And, and I've seen these mess up and they've warranted them where people abuse them. The customer abused them and they still warranted it. Wow. So that was really cool. But this here, if you're charging this, now Tom has been a great test subject for this hunting with yeah, his... Yeah, hunting with his... Yeah. What he done is he ran his dead to the cutoff, mm -hmm. but he has a 12 volt stepper step down unit here for like if we put in a customer 12 volt appliances like yeah he's got that fridge in there so yeah. it's still pulling off that battery so he had multiple bad days so he put his battery to sleep got it it took him a couple days to wake it back up Ain't and then you've seen that day me and him was tinkering we can also set this to where the generator will engage in this quicker yeah but now that's a request that the customer will have to make because the way we've designed this and programmed it is that dj sets it and the guys that work for him now on the line we set it so that it uses the top 80 it cuts off and that's this right here right right and so when it gets to here you can plug up your generator. so you're wanting to go down to that 20 percent sorry sir that's all right so you want to go down to that 20 percent and that's when it'll cut off yeah right, right the bottom 20 percent there do what it'll save itself from going to sleep mode so it then an and what does that do so if it doesn't go all the way down it won't go to sleep it'll be easier to charge back up absolutely because you're still on the top end of the battery got it now that all throws right. a lot of people off and i get it because as being in this industry for like a decade now yeah 25 volts this thing's practically charged 25 volts that thing's dead so that's that's the thing people have to understand. Like this, when it when um, like when you're looking at your battery monitor on the cabinet, some people get confused. The reason we put that battery monitor there, and actually, do I have one on the sh no? The guys moved that on the rack. Is the reason we put that battery status monitor on the cabinet is for nighttime. It's not during the day because at 25, 26 volts, this thing is showing that it's fully charged, even though you're using power. I but at night, you. you get the real expectations it's using it throughout the years as we put them on normal systems it tells you exact real time all the time got it that's the difference in that battery monitor but when people okay. use these they need to understand that the draw on it when they're at 25 volts they've already used a lot of their power okay. here that's a normal day's charge okay. and they're sitting there ready to be used so so your lithium packs a punch in a little package lighter weight great for tiny homes because you can travel with them 10k you'd need eight of those suckers and it'd be 160 pounds a piece times eight right yeah, so equivalent to RV 200 park. pounds this is for like you want to sit in the rv park or you want to uh like have a weekend cabin or you want to you know be off grid but not have to be like freak out mode if you lost all your power this is i'm going to go bear hunting in alaska and i'm going to forget i you know the world exists that's where you want to have this you can kill them and come back and kill, kill them and come back yeah. This one's going to have to baby it, ain't it? You're going to yeah. have to watch what you do with the lithium, right? Yeah, it, it, it serves its purpose, but it's the same thing with the Tesla car. You don't get in the Tesla car, drive, 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 and then just, you know, cram it in charge. There. That's not how these things are designed. Most people mistreat it and do it that way. But most people that, like there was a lady bought an EV and she's really babied hers along over the years and only used it at the top end. And over time, her battery banks only diminished like 10%. And that's phenomenal but she took care of it she didn't take it all the way down so look, and quick charge take it down quick charge now when you don't take it all the way down is that considered a life cycle or no so a full cycle is from top to bottom okay if you don't take it completely to bottom it just gives you so much more run time. so it's gonna long it's gonna last longer isn't yeah, it? Longevity. so if you lived in a tiny home and you wanted to do the lithium you would probably want to stack as many batteries as you could in there so they don't deplete them down to that level right so you're going to want more right or really really watch your consumption and and something people can keep in mind is now dj uh and the guys can put an extra charge controller on your house now okay and add extra panels so i mean it, that's that's not something that's not a possibility 
you know, okay. you can so we put four on right now. You can add two more. Yeah. Okay. And you need a charge controller to do two more. Yeah. It's a $2,000 amenity add on. And that's because this unit is not equipped to handle that much electricity coming off. Of right. Six. This, this is capable of processing 1400 Watts with its built in, uh, charge. Control okay. System. That's, and, that's Watts coming off of the solar panels and each panel is 350 right now. Uh, yeah, we've been really blessed to get some massive power output. You know, people wonder why we don't put larger modules on. Larger modules actually cost more money to the customer and to us than it would be to put four smaller panels up. Well, I know it's it's wild, but that's just and the voltages, workable voltages coming in, it puts it at a spike where we have a very consistent workable voltage coming in, and we haven't yet had one customer complain about okay. you know that it's not producing power. The problem, the only problem we ever run into is if you run it dead. Run it dead, slow, you just don't want to run it dead. The slow trickle recharge, because yeah. it recharges. I mean, Tom's the poster child for that. He's done it three times now. Yeah. It came back, but you know, you just, it, 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 the versatility, there is always trade-offs with anything in life, okay. and that's a lot yep. of the trade-offs. Yep. So really, uh, now if somebody wanted to, could they add a battery themselves? Absolutely. Yeah, it's a matter of turning off the system, which is very detailed out now, start up and shut down picture yep. diagrams. And we're gonna give and, you guys uh, this, and anybody that bought this, yep. Absolutely, and what they can do is they can shut down their system, they can add these uh, extend battery parallel cables right yep. here. All, uh, you, all you have to do is boom, unscrew put it. Put it right on top of it and go. Put it right on top of it and go. Wow. Yeah, it requires no, boom, uh, boom, boom, boom. no tech, service tech, or anybody to come out and do it. Beautiful. We yeah. may do that just so if they want to buy a battery on their own, they could add to it when they get extra money, yeah. or we could send them one, and they could do that themselves, right? Yeah, and, Good. and uh, also an exciting announcement is that at the first of the year, if all goes to plan, yeah. uh, we'll be able to have batteries on demand, domestic, in America, three and a half hour drive from right here. Nice. Next day. I know service. you've been working on that. Man. Uh, we we want to have it to the point where any customer that purchases from us would, can have full customer service within 24 hours from the minute they walk in. That trailer goes in that back yep. door, it goes out the runway the next day. Man, we're, and we had such a strong <laughs> demand on this solar off-grid. We probably sold more of that than we regular homes, I think, now. Yeah, in, it, in three months, these guys have bolted down more off-grid for customer total than I've done in a decade, I think. <laughs> and Randy wonders why I don't sleep good at night. <laughs> Yeah, Lucas takes all this man serious because what he does is the most dangerous part of our tiny homes because of this electrical, this DC, everything. It, and that's why he was, he would not, he told me, he said, I will not do a lithium, Randy, for you until this came out. Yeah. And you made up your mind because why? What do you like about that lithium? Well, the uh, the, the housing, that the, the guys that's installing this nowadays and doing the off-grid, they, they have a metalized housing that's protecting this. It's breaker protected. It's fused on a metal backer board. And we have this in a metal structure. You know, that's something else that makes me happy. Like if you melted one of these wires, it's in a metal box. Yeah, you know what I mean I'm our actual home. Yeah, the yeah. eye box. Yeah, yeah the yeah. eye box. And, and, uh, Incredible. And, and as bad as that, that situation was in Florida, it really was a good educational moment because it taught this house is not like everything else. Had that happened in a normal house, the whole thing would have been splinters and ash. Wow. I mean, you know, it, it just would have been. Splinters and ash. But um, and that was that one that caught on fire, and that's what we're talking about. Right. And it wasn't anything to do with the company; it was yeah. a utility issue, you know, a brownout. And what happened was the GFI uh, internals was damaged, and so the next time energy was applied, it was shorted out. And the next thing you got is fireworks show. Wow, uh, man! But you know that's why that I've always stood behind this when I actually ran my own business before I was plant manager here. Is that that's why that I always did this for you whenever I did installs. Because yeah. right here, you can see right here, flame retardant. This is a UL listed battery. I mean, this is not just, just any junk. This is the real deal. And wow. it's why it's so expensive. Too. Yeah. It's just yeah. so darn heavy, man. Well, this is the soul of your home. Yeah. You know, when you're your own utility company, there's two things you don't want to do. Is put garbage in there and not know what you're doing. You know, That's like, right. like we've That's we've right. got this so simple now that if something goes sideways, I you, know you power it down, turn it back on, or hit a reset button. I mean, That's like, it. That's user friendly for somebody that's 20 year old to nine year old. Yeah. And the other thing is, is that this stuff is built to last a long time and the manufacturer warranties it for a long time. So 
Good. We don't want in the ten, almost ten years I did this didn't have no lawsuits, Better Business Bureau complaints, you know, no bad reviews online, and we want I want to see that same spirit follow along with DJ and the guys doing it here. Good you deal. Know, leave a good legacy with it. Yeah. Good. So in closing, we want to let everybody know that we're sending this out to all of our solar off grid. This is this solar manual right here. Right. And now the off grid water manual. Yep. Uh, will be available uh, right after Thanksgiving. Okay, you're working on that. Yeah, we're we all we got left is to put the pictures in, but we're just trying to make we're trying to make sure to outline this the best so there's no revisions. Sure. Because all the amenities uh, of the off grid water system are outlined in that too. Filter, uh, your filters, uh, troubleshooting, upkeep, maintenance, the works. Yeah. Right. Right. And then we're going to do a video, <coughs> put it on our website, and we're going to go through very slowly how things. Uh, troubleshoot what could go wrong if you if you deplete it down to nothing right yeah, how you DJ's going to do a lot of technical stuff to show everybody and we'll too. show you guys all that on a video and you just go to our website click it on and he'll walk you through it um and we're going to do that probably for the water system the compost just to explain all that that's and what we're going to do on our website we're going to have videos for you one last thing is this right here uh, unlike the crypto market today, which is absolutely rock bottom, this little investment right here is going to be worth into the thousands before it's over with. Is that that monitor thing? So the IPP units that uh, DJ's guys will be doing on the line. This IPP right here, is our incredible portable, portable power. power. Yep. This unit right here, as you've seen in the one Miss Brandt received, uh, the first one yep. that we built, it has this monitor built in. You can change any settings you want on this. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not trying to be a conspiracy theorist, but before long, Uncle Sam will be able to watch everything you do, big tech, big corporations, everything's going internet-based. For a time being, uh, Tom gave me the authorization on it the other day to buy up a bunch of them monitors. Yeah. So we bought them, and they're in storage. And um, so until we run out of them, we're gonna bolt them on the houses, but in the or on the portable power units. But after that... So this kind of takes you off of the internet to this, be able to... Because everything can be monitored if you don't have that, right? Right. And so God, in deal. the meantime, all the orders that are being taken for portable power stations, we're going to honor putting that in it. But when it runs out, yeah. the last one's staying with us so we can program and, in And it's, it's not just governments or whoever, Russia and China and whoever else you're scared of. It, it can be from an individual, too that has access to the internet to be able to sabotage your power. Well, uh, right? a recent example, that's the Colonial Pipeline. Uh, they have a uh, place off of, uh, oh, I'm trying to think, uh, off of 640. Okay, in, in here in Tennessee. In, in Knoxville. Okay. Uh, Colonial Pipeline got uh, cyber attacked and were held hostage until they paid out every Oh, so I remember Bitcoin. that, yeah. And that was a cyber terrorism attack. And the thing is, is when you're hooked into the internet, Yeah. welcome to the wild wild west anymore and so these are hooked to the internet no everything they're we, not Ours everything are not. we have is completely standalone independent and 100%. is that because you program them like that right yeah and the customer has full autonomy to do whatever they want afterwards however if a customer changes the system settings on what we do after it leaves the house now that does now which is this right here these settings here right that so will if they change the this you mean that would go to the internet is it wi-fi or how would that work no, no, this later will need a remote to, to be programmed via the internet. I got you. The Snyder units. But no, this stuff here is completely standalone. Right. Uh, but, but yeah, as long as customers don't change anything without our approval on that, that doesn't void the work deal on the system. Nice, nice. But, and, it, and, and it's, like I said, if somebody could hack your system and kill your power. Absolutely. You know, this way they can't. So I, you can tell I'm asking questions and learning just as much as... I think the people watching, um, I've learned a lot through you and the wiring and some other things like that. But when it comes to the electrical, the technical and asking DJ how he's going to program it and all that, I ain't got a clue about that. And that's what we want to help everybody learn. So I think what we're going to do is do more off grid, more solar, and we'll take one thing at a time. We're like, OK, we want to just build this and we want to show them what we do. And then we're going to show them how we're doing this. And then I'd like to do the testing and all the wattage. And maybe we can add up the watts and how long a battery lasts, if it can kill it, how we're going to charge it up. And then, two, now you know that if this, if this system is hooked to the grid, that changes the ball game, doesn't it? It does, but now that's where the EMP system protection comes in. 
Right, um, I understand that. You know, uh, we've been we've been really blessed with that too. Is that the folks in Kansas that uh, you know we've been able to get a good supply of that. And our right. vendor has been locked in with them a long EMP time. EMP protects DC AC system, which is you gotta have. That. Oh, and it has the military rating. Let me tell you, when Uncle Sam buys your stuff, it's legit. Yeah. You know, and I mean, I think that right there is. We we've just been really really blessed with that because like that is going to help pe protect people's homes and their system because you can easily go buy a Siemens whole house surgery restroom and pay an electrician seven eight hundred dollars to put the part in plus the labor. Yeah. For two hundred dollars more, you've got it mounted on your off grid system that was already going in your house. Plus, you've got far more than a surgery restroom. You've got uh, EMP from a nuclear terror attack or uh, cyber terrorism on the electric grid. You've got Everything. the full works. Yeah, and yeah. a, and a tractor trailer <laughs> busting into your transformer, right? Yeah, that guy's house would that would not have been a service call, you know. And, yeah. and I mean, Randy went and sent the guys to service call that, and it wasn't even on us. But, yeah. I mean, that's how much ITH takes care of customers. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, that, that would have been a non-issue. He would literally went out there and flip the breaker in business as usual. But if, you're, if you have a, a tiny house and you got off-grid, but you're hooked to the grid, this would go down like DJ's going to fix it. He's going to go down to about 20%. It'll, hook, it'll turn on to the grid automatically, charge it back up, and then it'll kick back over onto the solar, right? Right. And right here on this screen... The, what would happen is that you would see this this circle icon light up Sorry. with a, a wave through it and it would actually go up and bypass and take care of the loads while it charged. Now right yes. now what it's showing is power coming out of the battery going in here to be able to go out and service the loads going out. Exactly. But in that event that would that would show that um, swirly icon come on. And that would be the utility power bypass. The nice. Technology. And then it'll kick back yeah. onto the solar after it's charged, right? Correct. And nice. that, that's the main thing we're trying to do is give people backups for their backups. Good. Absolutely. All right. So you guys can see that this is, there's a lot of technical knowledge that has to be learned here. It has to be done properly. There's a lot of things going on that me as a, a user, if I have a solar off grid, I'm not going to know about all this technical things that don't really need to, right? Because you program them. And I just need to know the troubleshooting and keeping this thing working every day, off and on, off and on, and, and wow. keeping it rolling. And, and there's habits your power. to learn. There's Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, 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 you're right. Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah. It really comes down to monitoring what you use. Because when, when I lived in the tiny house that I had out here on the, in the forest, yep, when yep. we first moved here, yep. I had some small batteries, I had a small generator, I had my water reclamation system. Yep. And I had to be very mindful of when I used power. Plus, I had the two panels on a tripod mount in the forest. When the sun went across, those peak hours of the day was all I got. Yeah. You know, and so when that sun went down, that, that was all that I all had. All you had was those batteries. And I'd fire my generator up from time to time. And I mean, a lot of people think, man, I want to be off grid. And that's cool. But there is a lifestyle. It's yes. Not, it yeah. is a conscientious, like people have a it progressive is. thing. Like when you go to a tiny house, it's like, oh, crap. I've got to get rid of all my junk and downsize. And yep. then it's, now I've got to make the use of Another my Another step, yeah. And now I've got to be careful of my power and water. And so it, it, it's not just... Um, yeah, you don't fall asleep in the shower and, you know, sit in the floor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and the last drip of water comes through. Come out and you, don't have no, you have no water to boil your eggs. Yeah. I'll be darned. Oh, uh, the, uh, the, the, the cooktop. So yes. if all goes to plan, uh, we've been working with a company, and I can't really say all yet, but um, if all goes to plan, we'll be the first tiny house manufacturer in the country, if not the world, that will have this off-grid 1K stovetop that it can go into the drawer of the iBox and not take up space. Really? So you can pull it out, set it up, cook. If your system ran dead, it's a 1K backup battery Oh, it pack. has its own battery. And so you can cook. And boil water and take a warm bath if you needed to. You could still. And then it'll charge up too with the system while it's in the drawer. Yeah. That sounds awesome. Yeah. So that'll be an amenity hopefully first cool. of the year that'll be available. Oh, man. We're thinking, you know what? With having all these guys here, especially Lucas, and he's he's trained DJ to come up. DJ, you're going to go to school for this, right? Or, yeah. or what kind of schooling year? is it? Uh, tech school for industrial electrician. Got it. Then switch over to solar. Yep. Keep exactly. Now I told him the feet. No, but now he's also going to go down and get his specialty license for solar installation. So literally, 
uh, other than the NAMSEP certification, he'll have all the certifications literally you could get for doing what we're doing here. Yeah, and, and I've had him sign a, a contract. He cannot leave after all that. He has to stay <laughs> for at least 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going nowhere. Soul. <laughs> yeah, I give him all his time off and go learn all this stuff. You better stay. Yeah. That gummit. It's yeah. really cool, though. The guys, guys came in here not knowing anything. Yeah. And have just crushed it. Yeah. And Ashley... Literally. Wait till we video Ashley. She's a young lady that works here, right? And and I want to tell it. There's there's some you know she has some health issues, right? And right. she wouldn't mind me telling that. And this suits her because she probably wouldn't be able to be employed other places. And we have catered her because we really like her and we want her to work. And so they got she got Billy to be by her, and he can oversee her, help her, and. I think and that's she's awesome. It. And Just she's killing it. it. Look how good a work she does. They started with no boards the other day. We ran out, and she went over there, and in a matter of a couple hours, I was walking the line. I walked back by, and there's a whole stack of them. Wow. And, that, I mean, that is just, that's a yeah. testimony to, like, the quality of how well people's moving along with learning these skills. Yeah. And a year from now, if we're not the most premier off-grid installer of tiny house land in the world, I'm going to be upset. Because that I want, I want to spit the pen. Well, we're here to sell them, man. Yeah. We well, shout out to Milwaukee for all the free tools that they sent us too. <laughs> no, that's right. That's right. God, we love Milwaukee. Good deal. Well, I'm excited. I hope we keep selling them. I don't know what's going to happen. This economy is hitting us hard. We'll see what people want to do. This off grid. I think it's we're trying to make it as affordable as we possibly can. That's it. You know. And I know if you compare what we do with anybody off grid. And like you said, there's nobody installing this like we are doing anywhere in the country, right? No. In tiny homes. I mean, every step of the way, like these boards are custom bent in Metal Shop Virginia for us. I mean, like they, that's not just, I mean, there, there's there's lots. You can't buy that stuff. That's made specially just for us. You don't just go on eBay and buy that. That's made specially Now you for know us. somebody's gonna say, well, I'm gonna look at that video. I'm by God, I'm gonna build it myself, All right. aren't they? Amanda yeah. always says, why you gotta talk like that? <laughs> the thing is, is within uh, about 90 days, we will be the most cost-effective installer of off-grid there is. Nice. For, for tiny house. Yep. I mean, the, the pricing is continuing to drop. I mean, the batteries are going to continue to drop. Good. I and mean, we're going to pass that savings on to our customers. Yeah. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Look, look, DJ. DJ, how old are you? Uh, 25. Oh, my God. He's... He just, he's still got, he's still got afterbirth on him. We got to wipe off. You know what? <laughs> he's just a pup, man. So, and Lucas, everybody loves you. And they know you I really well. They asked me how old I was. I was like one foot in the grave. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Felt the gray beard starting to grow in. Oh my gosh. And I did my Q and A last week in your office, which everybody loved. I mean, you got a panoramic view of the entire place up here. And so we're up here. Oh, I wanted to show one more thing. Is this a ceramic heater that we've got in here? Yes, And sir. my butt is warm from standing in front of that thing. That thing will cook eggs if you want it. It'll cook what? George Foreman going to have to get them for... Uh, for I mean, uh, you can get hotter? Yeah, we, you can make a hot plate out of that. How do you, yeah. What do you mean? You can turn it oh, up? Oh, just because it's so hot. Oh, yeah. yeah you, know. you can't... Oh, yeah, you can't keep your hand yeah, on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I bet you're right. Wow. So, and that is what, 250? 250 watts. 250 yeah. watts. Yeah. You can run that like all night long and wouldn't put a dent in the Well, batteries. and we don't have the thermostat in here yet. Uh, they just put the plug covers on okay. today. Yep. But we're going to put the thermostat on it. And this is another thing that we're going to be able to run off that station because yes. we want to run the stuff that is in the houses. Um, and we are also yeah. can run a line down. Jacob's water heating station is just below us now. So yeah. we can actually run a water heater off this too. You know what? It would be good to see how much energy is consumed with all that and how long the battery lasts. And we'll do a, a actual practical living consumption of that lithium battery for everybody. Well, I, got, I got you one you're going to enjoy then. We got a watts view monitor coming. Good. It will plug in. Good. And we can run the whole strip. And it'll show how much energy is being used real time. at a time, real time. Everybody, that is something that everybody needs to know because we'll put a blow dryer, you put a toaster oven, microwave, electric water heater, and see how much energy it's it's using up. Yeah. And then a mini split too. We got to do that. You know what? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we could probably get Russell to hook one in here. Or something. That would be yeah. cool. And then we could say, hey, you can run it this long throughout the night, or how many more batteries you need if you're going to live in this type of lifestyle. Yeah.
Good. Like well, I want to bring practicality to solar. I want somebody who does not know one thing about solar and we teach them and show them exactly what they need to know. You don't have, I am not a guru of technical stuff. I don't, I'm just, I'm all hands on. But learning this is gonna help me when I go off grid. And that's, I know that the people buying from us, it's good. that's awesome. That's what they're gonna do. You know, the guy today showed me, asked me today, he goes, how many amp hours are in that battery? I said, I don't know, it's a 5K. 200. So it's 200 amp yeah, hours. No. Is it not determining on how many, how much you use out of that to get an amp hour? Well, the, there's the, 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 the power triangle, the mathematics on that, uh, it, the way that you'll add that up is you'll take 25 volts times 200 amp hours will give you your wattage. Or if you need to know your amp hours, but you know your voltage and your wattage, you can divide that down and that'll give that to you. There's a couple different formulas okay. you can calculate that out. And that's something we can break down. I actually have it wrote in my office because I was, me and DJ was going over that other day to explain that to customers because we want people to be informed. Like we want you to be able to make a full sound Yeah, but if it says 200 amp <coughs> hours, but it depends on how many utensils you plug up, it may only be worth 150 amp hours if you get too much electricity you're consuming, or well, am I not thinking right? Well, the easy, to, to answer what you're asking, the easiest way to figure that up is, okay, I have 5,000 watts in this. Right. If I run a microwave, it's a thousand watts yep. for an hour straight. I've took a thousand watts out of there. And that's how I've explained yeah. it. And when I tell people that are used to amp hours, they look at me like they don't even know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the amp hour thing, I, I, I've never been a fan of that. I don't like the and, amp hour and, thing. And uh, I treat electricity just like being a doctor. I'm a practicing electrician. Yeah. You know, just like practicing physician. But the way that I always count this off in layman's terms to people is if you have 5,000 watts and your water heater's 4,000 watts and you yep. take an hour long shower, you just took 4,000 watts. You, exactly. You That's know, how I, mean, I look it at just, it. That is the simplest and that is, that is the best calculation, load calculation thing for yes. people to do on a spreadsheet mm -hmm. too. As mm -hmm. I've done this for years when I was in business. You're right. I do it, we, uh, customers would do it. They'd send me everything they were going to have the electrician wire in their house yep. and how long they were going to run it over account for yeah it, and that would come out to a max watt there you go and then you needed to build that battery bank yep and your according to your array, usage according to your you because everybody's different now we sell this as a cookie cutter just like the house goes out as a cookie cutter yeah DIY mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from here you can up add to that or as you need to but people need to understand that their needs yes they may overrun overtax what they got that's why you have the utility backup and the generator too right so what we're doing we're giving them one battery or two batteries that's all we've been doing we can get more but they have to can do they have their life has to be groomed around what they have right. instead of us custom building around their lifestyle and don't guess that's why this gentleman is the supervisor of the off-grid for Incredible Tiny Homes now yep. because when you hit him on a ticket at support at IncredibleTinyHomes.com, ask those questions. Sam, yes. Sam's built a roster thing, you know, to fill in questions and stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. And that way he can hit you back immediately, you know, within the next So he's day. built in what? How, how many utensils or electrical well, no, so just, We're going to get that eventually but he's got it where that the questions that they're concerned with oh okay you can fill in and he can hit you back and got it time flat. got it yeah yeah or if you want to adjust something or add to that's there, you know there's a there's a lot to that it's blowing me away we've been here what we're in our eighth month and we're already got a, a dang laboratory up here building solar together it's amazing isn't it well what's really going to be awesome next is right there brian's new office He's yeah, we're building be, a new office right here. He's going to be able to translate contracts within the first 24 hours into real time, ready to build on the docket. So That's right. in theory, moving forward, if you purchase a house starting next year about springtime, yep. we'll be able to build your house 24 hours after you sold it on the roster. You got it. That's what we're Done, doing. man. Yeah. We don't want any lag time, wait time, confusion. And I love it because we have got nothing but serious people wanting to make this work. Yeah. It is true. Whew. I hope we just keep selling. Oh, I do too. On behalf, oh, I always say it on behalf of myself and those that work the line, we appreciate you. You're our life. Oh, man. Yeah. You guys I love you for buying our homes, believing in who we are. That's why we're bringing these videos to show you the people behind these things, what we do, how we do it, how serious we are, the money we've invested, the time we're talking, doing all this. Man, and he's going to school. Yeah. Even learn more. That's awesome. All right. Thank you, guys. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, please do that. Maybe we'll, if any notification buttons, give us a thumbs up. 
and uh, we'll bring you more videos you guys can see because we're going to bring more videos about the load, how to do more. It's, I think we're going to take maybe one video a, vi a week, one video a week, and explain more and more and more about this solar, okay, and our off-grid. So I think it's so involved, we need to do that once a week and continue to educate everybody about off-grid. Yeah. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Look, look, look how handsome, 25 years old. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Bye.